Hi guys, welcome back to another video at Flavor and Spice Cocina. Today we're gonna be making a delicious vegetarian dish, which is chiles de rajas, or rajas de chile en crema. Um, we're gonna be pairing it with white rice, so stay tuned and I'll show you how to make it. So first thing we want to do is you can use any kind of gloves you have at home, but I don't want to cut the peppers without using gloves because they can be spicy. And since we're removing the seeds, you don't want to end up with spicy fingers for hours. I've had to soak mine in soap and lotion and all kinds of stuff. And I still have spicy fingers. So I've learned my lesson. We are going to, um, use gloves and then, we want to cut around the seed part and then we'll go ahead and remove that like that. And you just want to slice your peppers into thin slices like this. And we're going to be doing this for all our peppers. Okay. The peppers were pre rinsed. We don't want to rinse them after you slice them because they will absorb um, water. So just pre-rinse them before you start cutting. And again, your pieces kind of, your slices kind of want to look no thicker than that. Okay. Now that our peppers are cut, we are going to move them out of the way because now we want to move on to um, dicing our onion. And actually, we're just going to slice the onion into uh, pieces like the peppers. We are going to grill the onion first before we move on to the peppers. So, um, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. I'll show you quickly how to do this. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is, um, my pan's been preheated, uh, medium high for about two, three minutes. We're going to add some oil. Um, I prefer using vegetable oil. You can use whatever kind of oil you want. Um, Olive oil is great too. We're going to want to add our diced onion. And then we want to add a tablespoon of minced garlic on top of the onion um, because we don't want the garlic to burn. And then we're going to want to um, just soften the onions. We don't want to caramelize them before we add the peppers onto the pan. Just kind of soft them enough, soften them up a little bit. And this was just white onion. My preference for this dish, you could also use um, yellow onion if you wanted to. It's a little stronger in flavor and sweeter. That's why I use the white one. But hey, if yellow is all you got in your kitchen, that's fine. So actually let this sit for about a minute, just one minute before we add the peppers. Okay, so see onions getting softer, more manageable to when you stir it. The garlic is cooking in there. I can smell it. And that means this is ready for our peppers to be added. And this is a easy, easy dish, but it's cooked slow. Okay. So kind of let it sit like that on top of the onion. And now we want to add our garlic salt. So you can kind of soak in the flavors. The peppers are going to absorb all the flavors. And again, my favorite lemon pepper. You could just add black pepper, you know, if you want to skip on the lemon, it does give it a nice, 
um, tangy flavor and because we are going to be doing um, cream it makes just I think that's probably the secret ingredient the garlic salt and the lemon pepper let's let this sit for a second or you know maybe a minute or two before we start blending the onion and the pepper together okay so we want to check in on this and then just gently stir your peppers are going to start getting softer and we just kind of want to start blending in the onion and the peppers together your peppers will turn a different color once they're fully cooked kind of like a darker brown um, and we probably want to add a little more seasoning to this okay again this is a slow cook patience lots of love into your dish you can't rush it um, the objective is for the peppers to get softer not soggy just softer before we follow on you know move on to the next step but you just gotta keep watching them stirring and then cover them up again Okay guys, so as I was saying, your peppers will start to change color. You see how they're starting to turn like a dark green, almost like a olive green. That's a sign they're getting to the point where we'll want to um, add our sour cream. And the sour cream that we need to use for this, it does make a difference. Normally, I'll tell you guys, use whichever one you want to use this. We have to use um, the Mexican or um, Salvadorian or Oaxacan sour cream, um, not your like sour cream um, American version, I guess. It's um, a little tastier and it will make a big difference on the way this dish tastes. So I'll show you which kinds I'm using. I'm gonna mix two together and I will show you in just a sec. Final step for the peppers is to add the sour cream. And you don't have to use this brand, I'm not sponsoring it. It does have to be Mexican um, sour cream with salt, okay? I may actually use the Mexican cream and then the Oaxacan. Yes. The mixture of the two sour creams together makes it taste delicious, trust me. So we're gonna go ahead and add it to our peppers. And, and I am doing two containers um, because we don't want dry peppers. You want them to like literally be soaked in the cream. Added one, I'm gonna go ahead and add the second container of the crema Oaxaqueña. And all that means is it's from Oaxaca. Tastes a little different, but delicious. So we added both of those containers to the peppers and we just want to gently stir everything together. And let the flavors just blend in and do their magic. Okay. Once you've blended all the ingredients together, again, cover it up, let it sit for probably another five minutes or so. Okay, so while our peppers are cooking, we wanna go ahead and get started with our white rice. So we wanna add um, our oil to the pan that's been preheated, probably about four teaspoons of oil and our cup of rice that was already pre-rinsed and dried. And I'm gonna show you what we add to the white rice, but you just, same as the other rice, the Mexican rice that I've showed you before, you just kind of want to fry it a little bit, 
not until it gets golden brown that's the difference because we're not making the mexican rice we're gonna want our rice to stay white um, in color so just watch it stir for a little bit let it fry for a few minutes and then i'll show you what we blend and add to it Okay, so for our rice, what we are going to do is a quarter onion and one large garlic clove. And we're going to add some chicken bouillon. We're going to do two teaspoons of this. And we're going to blend this with two cups of water. And add it to our rice. <music> Okay, so now we wanna go ahead and add our mixture to the rice. That's as brown as we want it. And again, we did one cup of rice, so we're gonna do three and a half cups of the mixture. We blend it too, but it kinda just magically becomes more. So we're gonna do three, three and a half cups of the mixture to the rice. and let it cook on medium and cover it up okay so that's what you want to do stir it just make sure that everything is kind of coming together and just cover it up and then we're going to check on it in a couple minutes Okay, so we're gonna check in in our rice and remember our secret. We, add, we wanna add a few drops of lime juice so that our rice can get nice and fluffy. Um, and then we added that and make sure you stir. And we'll cover it back up. So it's only been cooking for about seven minutes. Uh, we probably don't want it to cook for more than 20 altogether on medium high covered. And then the last five minutes, you want to bring it to a low heat and just lift your lid a little bit. Okay, guys, so this is our finished product. I did go ahead and add um, a small can of whole corn to our rice just to make it a little tastier. You could also add peas and carrots if you're into that. Um, all I had was uh, corn, so that's what I went ahead and used. And our peppers turned out delicious. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and try those in a minute. And don't forget, this is just a guideline for you to kind of get started in the kitchen. If you're lactose intolerant and can't do sour cream, you could always do a sauce on your peppers. You know, again, your kitchen is your lab experiment. Don't be afraid to experiment, try new things, and um, have fun doing this, okay? And enjoy. Let's try this and see how it turned out. So again, pair it with whatever you want. Um, tortilla chips, tostadas, bread, or corn or flour tortillas, or just by itself. It will be delicious. And please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.